Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is the War Train here. Today's video, we're going to check out some gameplay from the GameCube game Eternal Darkness. Now, this is a game that I recently picked up and one that I was trying to get my hands on for quite a while. This game looks absolutely awesome. It's in the top 10 of GameCube games pretty much across the board. Uh, from what I understand, this game actually messes with you and your character in game. Uh, does things like think that you lost your memory, uh, save data, all kinds of weird stuff. So we're going to check out some gameplay of this and see if this is worth putting on your list. So let's check out this gameplay, guys. All right, guys. So Silicon Knights, they're the ones that actually made this game. And it's got some really just freaky looking imagery. Now, I'm playing this through an HDMI with the Mark II GCHD. Um, for the money, things pretty pricey, but it does make GameCube games look pretty amazing. Especially considering how old they are. I mean, look at the imagery of this game. <laughs> it's just crazy. I mean, it's no wonder that this game made a lot of people's top 10 you know, lists for greatest GameCube games, so. Uh, this is why I really wanted to pick up a copy of this, and I'm glad I was able to find one, finally. It looks absolutely just disturbing. <laughs> and this is all just going to the title screen here. That's awesome. All right, so let's see. Hit start. See what the options are. Wide screen. Sixteen by nine. We're just gonna go whatever standard. So. All right, so start game. Memory card slot A. Flesh. Bone. Bound together with the oddest magical incantation. This Some wretched book is what freaky it stuff. began so long ago. Before time. Before humanity. Wow. I am Dr. Edward Roivas. I am a clinical psychologist. I am also dead. Mm. This He's is also not my dead. story, nor even the story of the Roivas family. It is the story of humanity. Like it or not, believe it or not, as you will. Your perceptions will not change reality, but simply color it. Humanity has been on the edge of extinction for two millennia. Ignorant so much, and dependent on so few. The Guardians grow restless. This is definitely Their really time weird. <laughs> once again, near. A bunch of skulls and. Whether by fate or misfortune, my family has crossed the path. Backbone stuff. And they didn't take kindly to it. Their attention turns to my granddaughter. A death in the family. She is the last of my line. And the last hope for humanity. Yeah, she's screwed. <laughs> Awesome. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, don't want to waste ammo. Get out of the way. was freaky so that was all a dream uh, hello miss alexandra roivas 
Um, yeah, who's this? This is Inspector Legratz of the Rhode Island Police. I'm sorry to disturb you, but there's been an accident with your grandfather. That's never a good phone I'll call. Be on the next flight out. It's like, ah, you were just disturbing some dream. I was blasting skeletons with a shotgun. No big deal. <laughs> Ah, Miss Roybus. Detective. Pleased to meet you. I trust you had a pleasant trip? Um, yes, I suppose so, considering. Yes, my condolences. This is most unpleasant. It's a shame we couldn't meet under brighter circumstances. Yes, it is. Can we get this over with, please? Of course. Uh, this way. This would be an awesome game to remake. Not a pleasant sight. You know, looking back, you see the big chunky polygons and stuff. But back in the day, this was it, man. This was, this was just crazy looking. Back when like Resident Evil, like one and two and three were out. But it still gets the story across. That's the most important stuff. Your grandfather, Edward. I mean, it really yes, don't look bad, him. these games, going back. He's wearing our family ring. It's earlier than this, like <laughs> PS1, and they start to fall apart. I don't understand. Why are you showing me this? Can't you check dental records or something? What is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm... I'm sorry. It's my job, lady. You're the only <laughs> living relative, and no, we can't check dental records. There's no head. Now, oh, none of this makes sense. There's no sign of intrusion, and there was certainly a lot of force used here. I have never seen anything like this in my 20 years on the force. We have no evidence except for the body, and what's left doesn't say much. Well, we don't have a single clue. Well, you better find out who did this. Yeah. I'm not leaving Rhode Island until you do. Come on, damn it, that's my you grandfather. some clue in this old mansion revealing what happened. I want answers. So do I. <laughs> I wish I had some. Two weeks later. All right. Shocked by her grandfather's mysterious death and frustrated at the incompetence of the local police, Alex vows to uncover the truth. She decides to search the mansion, the place where... Edward conducted his research. If there was a tie to his past and possibly a tie to his murder, it would possibly be here. So let's get to it. Looking for clues so we can run. Okay, we got a clock. Hands are stuck, but it ticks. Set to 33. There's a key in the back of the clock. Presumably for winding it. Okay, should Alex look at the key? Hell yes. Alex picks up the desk lock, pulls the key. It looks like a dresser key. Well, I'm glad I went there. <laughs> got, I love this. It's got that Resident Evil 2 vibe. See what's up with that? The, the rat last rays, the uh, last weak rays of sunlight fight the shroud of darkness. Man, awesome! Just killer writing. Um, this game really does look pretty good. I've got to say, it's not bad. So, oh, that's the fighting stance punch. So, let's examine the phone, or whatever, detail, portraits. All right. Kind of looks like her a little. Let's see what we have behind door number one. Hey, hey we got a piano. Yep, can't expect me to play the piano. Alright, what do we got over here? Some more rays of sunlight. 
some freaky music. Collection of strange line designs. Cylinder, manner. Appears to be some significance to it, but it isn't particularly evident. Okay. Table set for one. All right. We never had any visitors. Okay, nothing wrong with that. All right, so I don't particularly see anything in this room. So I'm gonna head out. What do we got in here? this okay so what in plaque is fastened to the door taking the place of the lock a colored sigil is carved into the wood above a wide slot the slot is just wide enough to insert a narrow blade all right so looks like we could be looking for some kind of sword or knife got anything here at the desk anything in the fridge no <laughs> Alright, so let's get out this door. So, check out whatever's down here. Some really freaky music. Whoa, what do we got here? Examine. Nothing. Just some freaky lady. What was the clock stopped again? I like how she looks up like that. <laughs> Alright, so it's almost 12 o'clock. This looming grandfather clock seems to stand ominously in the corner, gazing on, the, on this empty room with an almost patriarchal air. Hmm, use to adjust the hands. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Wait, let me change them. I don't know, wasn't this other clock stuck at like 3.33 or something? Hey, how about that? <laughs> so we solved the uh, first puzzle. So pretty cool. Definitely uh, down with some puzzles. Definitely has that Resident Evil vibe. I like that. I love survival horror, especially a game with a good story. So we got some crazy looking book. Like, damn right, we're going to examine it. A large leather bound antique book rests upon the cluttered desk. Should I read it? Hell yeah, let's see what we got here. What was grandfather into? Freaky old bastard. What? Whoo. Damn, she almost blacked out. <laughs> knowledge of what was to come. Nor did I care. How the knowledge changed me, it will also change you. As you read this, you will come to learn fear as I have. <laughs> you too will come to understand, or you will perish. Yeah, you're doomed. She's to doomed. Think that once I could not see beyond the veil of our reality, to see those who dwell behind. My life now has purpose, for I have learned the frailty of flesh and bone. I was once a fool. Where is Krias Kandamest? Where is Kunzavondine? Fakusatis Akwai Sumat. 
tanimus eorum confirma, hud na huis, dia sit modo prima mutarum, si ingeptum conficiamus. Quam primum, Centurio Augustus. Wolo res I would like to compliment you once more on your battle tactics. Our enemies did not have a chance. Do you believe that it really exists, Centurion? I do not doubt our Emperor's beliefs, or his orders. But if we are to retrieve the artifact, then we must be strong and patient. Wow. So we went from speaking like Roman language or something to just English. That was pretty cool. This ain't good. That's on the cover. <laughs> oh, wow. Forms a Pentagon. He's stuck in. Okay. Dice on the floor is finally crafted, inlaid with golden gems that Pius can't identify. A strong linear design is situated in the middle and is equally known to the Roman soldier. Sweet. So now I'm actually playing as the Roman soldier. Uh, man, this is like gorgeous looking in here. Excellent design, that's for sure. Okay, so we got the stairs down there. I'm just curious. Okay, so let's go down. A ladder leads into the dank heart of the labyrinth. Danger lurks beneath, yet Pyrus' cour courageous resolve does not buckle. So let's go, man. Let's go. Should Pyrus climb down the ladder? Oh, hell yeah. Let's see what we got down there. Oh, we got a skeleton, so somebody fell. Or just got killed right away. Oh shit. Nice. I wonder if we get that sword at some point to put it in that keyhole in the beginning. Alright. Making sure I know the controls here. So the skeleton's bleeding. <laughs> uh oh. Hold on, run, dude, run. Let's just go get the thing. A strange granite block lies on the floor. Pick up? Oh, yeah. What's that gonna do? Just checking to see if there uh, is more. What in the hell are those things doing? <laughs> All right, so they're gone, so I can get out of here. All right, so whoop, got another one. Oh yeah, pick that up too. meter all right every time a character takes damage the thing will get lower all right yeah we get it um, this function allows the manipulation of inventory items Whoa, what in the heck all right 
Okay. So we're into it now. I gotta get out of the way. This thing's gonna uh, touch me. <laughs> Come here. Hey, I kick too. A slower uh, fighting mechanic, but I have a feeling this game isn't really based off of that. So, oh, finish him. Awesome. So that's why they're lighting up. Okay. So I came from there, and I'm going to leave through here. So this is some kind of a labyrinth here. Oh, I got to move. Got to, oh no. Probably shouldn't be fighting all these guys. Just get the blocks. nothing else over here just these guys oh, he was about to get me put him down and finish him Yeah, I definitely want to finish them off. <laughs> Alright, so let's go down the ladder. I think we're getting somewhere here. Definitely want to get it. getting me. Come on, come here. No! Run, dude, run! Alright, I need to finish these guys. See, it stinks letting them get back up, but there's so many in a spot. Oh, and it, it takes a little while so you, before you can attack them again. So we got rid of them. So let's see here. All right, so I have all of them. Hold on. So here, let's put them in the holes here. So that was the blue one. All right. So we're about to light this place up with these weird things. Alright. So, what is this? The green one? Oh, wrong one. Whoops. <laughs> I 
Alright, well, it put the right one in there, that's good. Oh, come here, you. Definitely had to finish him. Alright, so... Green one. And purple. So let's see what's gonna happen now. No idea what the heck these things are. Oh, it's gonna unlock that door. Interesting, so let's see what comes out of that. Alright. So there was, I guess, one way in and one way in. hurt? I guess I'm hurt. <laughs> Alright, Pius, you must prove your worth by destroying the statue. The statue. Pressing R will enable Pius to select which target to attack. Oh boy, I'm all hurt. <laughs> okay. Uh, releasing slightly, then pressing it again. We'll cycle between. Okay. Locked onto an enemy by moving and pressing A. Oh boy. Alright. This can't be a good thing. Well, what's, what's here? Alright, so I can't go in there. Oh, here we go. Gotta hold in the right trigger and press up. Man, this thing takes a lot. I hope I'm doing this right. Hold on, let me go over here. Oh, okay, let me try some other parts. Alright, sweet. An arm. Another arm. Alright, so I got it. That was like another puzzle in a way. Real easy one, but I just wasn't understanding what to do there. Oh boy. No! Run these damn skeletons, man. They're getting seem faster. Oh, I wanted to run and, and finish them. Oh, no. 
finish him. Let me go finish all oh, these back up. So even on them, you can select their body parts and see where you want to hit. So that's pretty cool. All right, what do we got here? A button attached to a small pile and softly illuminates a room. Bizarre energy seems to radiate from it. Yes, we'll push the button. Whoop. So I don't know what kind of damage I'm going to do here. Oh boy. <laughs> what am I activating? Some ancient evil here? What else is in the room? Alright, I guess I want to go into it. I think that's how I got to this place is by this yellow light. So it's some kind of transporter. Nice. What do we have here? Whoa. Shaped like a delicate dome, a pale blue statuette floats gracefully above the pedestal. Should, yeah, I want it. Whoa, hey, I want that artifact. I want them all. Oh man, awesome. I got old and creepy. I wonder what would happen if I picked the other ones. Eons have passed since then, and I have learned much. All at once, I understood. The forces of the multiverse all made sense under the transcending power of Ulyoth. No mountain too high, no city too far. It's like a Face book me, stitched in skin. And you shall sure so yeah, it's perish. like skin, it's crazy. I acquired the Tome of Eternal Darkness. Man, Grandpa was into some real freaky ass shit. Wow. Alright. <laughs> Unbelievable. So that was really cool. Really crazy. Oh, here's that sword I need. Ancient Roman weapon, Gladius, on display. Yes, I want that. Pick up, yes. I know right where to put that thing. So, I gotta say, I really am liking this game. It definitely is meeting my expectations, that's for sure. Now, I didn't even know what to expect. I knew this game was going to be freaky. But I really like, one, the way it looks. The visuals definitely look good. Um, you know, it, it, I think it holds up pretty well, too. Um, I always did enjoy this style of gameplay. It held up then really well because this was some of the best looking games back in this time, but it, it holds up well even today. And the puzzle elements are just, they're cool. Um, wow, look at this stuff. Okay. Uh, yeah, I should probably have adjusted something. I don't know what I'm doing here. I have no idea what all that stuff's going to do. Wait, what? What is this again?
So I'm supposed to look at that pattern, I guess. I know, I want to go do that sword thing, but... Let's see. There's all kinds of different ones here. So, you know what? I'm going to go try to find... Oh, what is that? That's... I didn't look in the telescope. Uh, but I want to go find... If I can find out where to go. So, there's all kinds of puzzles here. So I want to find out how to get back to where I was with the sword. Alright, I think it was this door. Yeah, here we go. So the sword room was over here. Here we go. Alex places the blade in the slot but feels it push back as it, it as if the magic of the blade does not fit the lock. Oh, interesting. Okay. So that didn't work yet. Okay, I don't remember anything in this room. But I do know another room and area. You know what? I didn't even go upstairs, I don't think, yet. Just curious. What do we got up here? Alright, so the double doors. All the doors locked. So, as of right now, I'm strictly working on the downstairs. I don't know if I went back here yet. That door is locked too. Alright. So, it looks like I will have to figure out what's going on maybe with the sundial stuff. Unless there's something else I missed. Multiple doors here. Oh wow, <laughs> that's uh, freaky. In the warm glow of candlelight, the Roivas family tree hangs from the wall. Shadows flitter across its surface, obscuring the detail. If one looks closely, the family's secrets are revealed. Wow. Alright. <laughs> that's pretty freaky. Alright, so that's the sundial room, which may be where I have to go and figure out that puzzle. So yeah, that looks to be the only spot I can really do anything right now. But it may take me a little bit to figure out this puzzle. So I think that this is probably a good spot to stop the video. 
Uh, but what do you guys think of this game? Um, I think it's absolutely awesome. I love the puzzle elements. It's definitely kills it for being freaky. I mean, the game starts out in a dream where you're shooting skeletons with a shotgun. Um, then you, you know, you're, you're in some like Roman times and, you know, you got the Romans speaking Roman and then all of a sudden they're just speaking English. You know, the subtitles go away and it just happens so quick that, you know, it's almost like you could easily not have noticed that, um, you know, just really freaky and cool as hell. Uh, but this game is definitely interesting. I cannot wait to play through this game all the way and see what it, everything it has to offer. Um, this was definitely a great pickup. But let me know what you guys think about this game. Do you have it? Um, have you played through it? And do you really like it? Or is this something that you just couldn't get into? Definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Um, I try to put content out like this as much as I can. But that's the video, guys. I'm the War Train, and I'm out. Have a good one.